Again, this is M5, Volume 4, Recent Visit to My Higher Self, on 16 April 2007. This past weekend, it was necessary to make a visit to my higher self and meet with my three dominant incarnations. Ever since Robert Monroe instructed me on how to enter my higher self in the early 90s, I had known who two of the three incarnations are. For some reason, the third dominant's identification was kept away from me. Now knowing who this incarnation is, I realized that I had been getting hints to the identity since the late 80s. Who it is, is not significant to those for whom M5 is written. This person is from over 1500 years in the past. It is significant only to me. However, after I finished with my discussions with my dominance, I wanted to look closely at my nexus of time. I can now add details of its appearance beyond what is presented in earlier M5 segments. The faceted orb of the nexus is alive with shifting colors. Each facet has its own color combinations that best remind me of a fiber optic display and very prismatic. Each facet is slightly different than the others. Like snowflakes, no two are identical. The edge of each facet has two thin bands outlining it. Within each band, colors move to the right, outer band, and to the left, inner band. This deals with the exchange and processing of information for each incarnation and sub-incarnation, parallel realities. The center of the facet is where the melding of colors produced the true prismatic flow and each facet has its own palette of colors. The colors are moving very rapidly. It was fascinating to watch. The nexus of time is also much larger than I originally perceived it to be. The mass of my higher self is also much more immense than was first seen back at the Monroe Institute. I was told that the original images I received were perceptively altered to where I was at the time, newly awakened. As the final incarnation for my higher self, I have advanced to where I can deal with the true size and inner look of my higher self. The fascinating pulses of colors, of the orb part of the nexus of time, extend down through the pedestal base of the nexus and are part of the incarnational streams. The colors indicate the processing of information that my higher self is engaged in. This is a task that is so inconceivable to an incarnation, but is yet easy for the higher self to handle. One's higher self is that aware of what is going on with each and every simultaneous path incarnation. I hope these details will give those, for whom M5 is written, a better handle on the visual aspect of the central feature of one's inner higher self. English does not contain the necessary words to translate exactly what I saw. Again, hello. This is uh, another section from N5 Volume 4 on September the 2nd, 2009. Is this segment, and it's called Relationships and Graduation. Wait one. Various types of relationships are formed during our existence, all phases. They range from friendships to far more intense companionships. In my case, in my pre-game self, I had a group of friends who all decided to enter this particular galaxy game together. We were all quite close, yet one particular higher self was closer to me than the others. When we all decided to enter this unique game, most chose to experience the sequential simultaneous paths. Some chose the nature spirit path. We wanted to be able to share all our adventures after graduation. We would also be involved with each other from the very first incarnation up to endgame. I have met several of these pre-incarnational friends. They are of various advanced incarnations. Keep in mind the nature of the simultaneous path, we would not all be finals in the same chronological period. They don't all recognize me as I do them, but that is not significant for me. Only one incarnation is the one that I am truly waiting for. In my current incarnation, I have never been in a relationship. By this I mean the total package expected to qualify as a relationship, companionship, friendship, romance, intimacy, passion, trust, etc. Platonic friendships are great, but the total package relationship is the one I seek. He will recognize me as I recognize him. He would have to be in the very advanced stages or an unawakened final or even awakened final. Nevertheless, the game being what it is and the complexities of it, there was no guarantee that my eternal companion, as I referred to Shim, would make it to graduation at the same event or Earth that I would. Recall my failure segment of a few months back, reality check to see what I mean. With the worst case scenario, that higher self would be going on to the next simultaneously designated planet while those of us graduating from Earth will move on. That higher self will remember everything upon continuation, but unfortunately found game addiction more important. That's what free will is about. One must be strong in spirit to move from sequential to simultaneous paths. One must also be even stronger in spirit to not get sucked up by the game into addiction. This is all necessary as the game prepares our higher selves to properly experience higher realms and far more complex situations beyond our chosen galaxy game. If you're not ready, as demonstrated by game addiction, you couldn't handle the higher levels of existence. For me, it would be quite saddening if I was not to enter a relationship with my one. I do not know who he is in this incarnation, but hope springs eternal. Yet graduation looms ever closer. 
I have mentioned how after graduation that we will all meet and be able to share experiences and interact with the Galaxy Game Creator, S. This is also a period when various meldings of higher selves begins. Certain higher selves will mutually choose to meld into one being and progress to higher levels. I don't have all the information on this phase, only some. It is one of the joys of graduation. Meldings that will take place is because these higher selves have shared so much during the immensely long game that they express their bond with another higher self or selves by melding. Melding does not end your unique self, rather it is the ultimate relationship. This melding is mirrored poorly in the game due to body ID failures and bogus DNA commands to addict us to the game instead of assisting spirit ID. I may have more to say on this whole topic, but for now, it will give you some things to think about. As for my intended, if you are going to graduate, you have to make yourself known to me. Trust in your higher self, exasperating as that is at times, 